Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am currently snowed in my house and uh, I was going through my videos and I found this one that I had totally forgotten about. It's a Valentine's Day flip book using crepe paper main squeeze. And I just thought I would still share it with you guys even though Valentine's is over. Um, it doesn't say anything about Valentine's Day so... Uh, and it was like one of my favorite Philip books. And I really like how the cover turned out. So I hope you guys still enjoy the video. And maybe you can get some ideas for next year. Anyways, so now I'm going to start working on the cover. Uh, I didn't make this a trifold, by the way. I only made it using two pages. Um, so I only used four papers and I stuck them back to back. So they would be double sided and I adhered them with washi tape from Target. And now I'm going to start the cover. So I added that doily but then I ripped it off. Uh, but I was going to cover it up anyways. And I ended up using the doily anyways. So I'm using this mason jar little embellishment thing from Crepe Paper. I believe it was from the Snow and Cocoa collection. And they also had it for the... Um, what was it called? It was one of their older summer collections. I totally forgot what it was called. And they had also these little mason jars. So you might still be able to find them online. They basically have a little clear pocket in the front that you can fill with stuff. So I just added some sequins and some confetti. And then I, sh um, I put some hot glue on the top so they wouldn't escape. And just put it on some foam tape. And that's pretty much it. And then I added that little pineapple sticker and the pineapple ephemera piece and I really really like how that turned out love those pineapples they're so super cute I wish I had more <laughs> they just make everything so adorable anyways so now to add a little bit of texture I'm gonna add this little trim thing um, it's just like a gold foil like is it trim? I'm not sure. I don't really know the difference between trim or whatever else this is called. Anyways, so now I'm going to add this other little mason jar sticker. It's from Crepe Paper Kiss Kiss from their standout stickers. And I'm just going to add a bunch of hot glue. Um, this is why I always run out of hot glue because... I just put way too much, but you know, better safe than sorry. Uh, anyways, I love that sticker. It's beautiful. It's already, it already has like confetti inside and it's just magical. I love that sticker. Uh, you might still be able to find it on eBay. Just search Cray Paper Kiss Kiss Standout Stickers or something like that. But anyways, I really love how that looks. I love mason jars and I love confetti and shakers. So that was perfect so then I added this little sticker I ended up taking it off and putting it back but you guys will see that soon then I add this little chipboard piece and I like how that looked but I thought it was kind of plain so I added this banner piece I like to make my covers pretty busy just because that's just what I like so then I added this little chipboard heart And now I'm going to add, I think I'm going to add this little floral piece. Oh, now I'm, I'm adding the tassel. This is from Crepe Paper Cute Girl. Um, this is discontinued, but you might still be able to find it online. Um, and I love those tassels. They're my favorite ever. They're like dipped in gold and I use them on everything. I need to find more before they completely vanish because i only have one pack left anyways so now i'm adding this floral this is from maggie holmes bloom but it went perfect with the colors i was using so that's what i added and then i just put the sticker back on top and i use hot glue on everything um because when I ship things, I I live in New Jersey and it's really, really cold here right now. And 
And most of my pen pals live in like California, Australia, where it's like really hot right now. And the temperature change always messes with my adhesives. So hot glue is the only thing that doesn't disappoint me and it comes intact and it arrives all in one place. So that's why I always use hot glue. And I burn my fingers like once a day, but it's okay. <laughs> so now I un I'm gonna add this trim from Michaels and it was too long, so I just cut it in half. And I love how that looks. It just gives it a little bit more interest. So now let's work on the inside. I'm just gonna add my doily. And then I'm gonna add this library pocket. This is from Crepe Paper Confetti Collection by Maggie Holmes. And it's super, super pretty. So I'm just adding a bunch of hot glue. I'm putting that on top of my doily. And I'm just gonna stuff it with pieces from the collection. I wanted to use those little hearts because I bought like three packs of these and I wasn't really using them so I decided to put them to use so I just added them on top of the pocket and then I added this little kitty sticker and a word sticker from the sticker sheet I just said sticker like five times in a row <laughs> so sorry um, but anyways so now I'm going to stuff it with ephemera, mostly tags from that collection. And that's pretty much for that side. Now I worked on the right side, but my video cut off. I ran out of memory on my phone. And I didn't even notice until I was done with the flip book. So I will insert some pictures. Uh, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye!